Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today we gonna demonstrate pie chart and progress bar widget for you. In the pie chart, you have multiple styles like these. You can check out more on our demo page. In the progress bar, you again have a different styles. For more layouts, check out our demo page. Now let's go back to the edit section. In the edit, you need to use progress bar widget for both the both the widgets. For the pie chart and for the progress bar, you need a progress bar widget. In the progress bar widget, you have the option for the pie chart or the progress bar. As per your need, you can select the value. Let's select the pie chart for now. In the pie chart, you have the style options. There are three different styles. Then you have the option for the round. There is style one and style two. After that, you can put the title over here, subtitle, the number. In the number value, you can put the text or the number. Then you have the prefix, postfix symbol. For example, if you want to put a dollar and instead of green, you want 200. And you can put that like this. So you have all the options. You have the option for the after number or before number. So you can adjust the value. Then you have the option for the icon. In the icon, you can select the none icon or the image. In the icon, you have the option for the font option and icons mind. Again, you can select that for the before or the after now let's go to the style tab in the style tab for the pie chart setting you have the dynamic value from 0 to 1 which you can change to set up your pie chart you can see the value the field value will be changed then you have the circle size you can make the circle bigger or the smaller so you have all the options then you have the option for the thickness. You have the option for the empty color. Like if you want to hide the empty color, you can do this by see. So you have the all the options. You have the chart fill color in which you can select the gradient as well. Then you have the title setting options in which you have the typography and the title color option. Same for the tight subtitle settings. Again, in the number setting, you have the option for the typography and the color. Then you have the number prefix postfix style, in which you have the typography and the postfix color. Then there is the option for the icon and image. There is the color and the size option. And there is the option for the on scroll view animation. V made separate video for this you can check it out on our channel in the advanced step you have the plus extras that means you have the magic scroll tooltip and lots of other options available for this particular widget then let's go to the progress bar in the progress bar you again need to select the progress bar instead of pie chart then you have the option for the progress bar there are two styles Again, there is a value for the dynamic. You can select the how much you want to fill out. Then you have the option for the title, subtitle, number, and the, all the same options as we discussed for the another option. So all the options are same. You just need to select the progress bar from here. Rest is same as pie chart options. Thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites.